Make love to me, make love to me now. What have I done? What have I done? I hope life is always this peaceful for you, Alethea. As your godfather, I'm going to do everything in my power to make sure it is. And even though I can't let her know it, I'm going to keep working behind the scenes to help Teresa get you back. You belong with her. She loves you so much. And I don't care if Julian is your father. He and Rebecca, they had no right to take you away from your mother like that. No right at all. All this hatred, all this. All this bitterness just has to stop, you know? <laughs> so we can go back to living our lives. <laughs> you know, one day, Gwen and I were gonna have children of our own. <laughs> you can play with and you can, you can be close to. I know being a father is gonna bring Gwen and I even closer than ever before. The bond is a family that I'm going to commit to her and to our marriage. And I will never let anything or anyone tempt that love ever again. Will come between us. Ever. <laughs> what are you smiling about? Um, I was just thinking that giving our relationship a try came at a pretty good time for me. Mm. Yeah, I uh, pretty much had given up on love, you know, after Ethan betrayed me, turned his back on me a little Ethan, and then you came along. And you changed all that. You opened up my heart again. Well, I'm glad. I just hope my heart won't be broken again. Well, I can't imagine breaking your heart, Teresa. We both want the same thing, right? Mm -hmm. To find love? Yeah. <laughs> so, tell me, what else do you want? You know? What are your hopes and your dreams? What drives you? What drives me? Well, no mystery there. Mm -hmm. Beautiful woman. The more beautiful the woman, the more driven I get. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Okay, well, that's not exactly what I meant, but, you know, who are you? And I know you're a lot more than that playboy image you love to protect, you know? That's just your, your cover, your defense. I'm sorry to disappoint you, but the truth is, I have absolutely no substance whatsoever. What you see is what you get. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm being serious. Who are you deep down inside? Um, what are your hopes and your dreams? And don't tell me having a pretty girl on your side because I know there's got to be something else. So what is it? What do you secretly desire more than anything else in this world? Sharon! Sharon, where are you? Please, help save me. Oh, no, no. So close. Another couple moments, and Luis would have been erased from your memory forever. What the hell has he done? I heard shots. Luis shot the lock off the door. Damn him. Antonio, no! No, Mama, he's gone too far this time. Sheridan! Sheridan! If I let Luis find Sheridan, hell's gonna kill me. This is Dr. Ackland. Can I get the police, please? Someone there? 
It's funny how things work out. I came to the crane garage with an intricate plan to get rid of Gwen by sabotaging her car. When a bump on the old beam was all it took. This is your own fault, Gwenny, for snooping around and getting too close to finding out that the baby I'm passing off is mine and Luis's is really his and Sheridan's. You paid for crossing me with your life. I better get out of here before somebody comes snooping around. At least I won't have to worry about this bitch bothering me anymore. devil may care thing that you've got going on it's really really cute but there's more to you than that not a lot more uh uh yeah and I am gonna get to know the real you you know who you are inside you're gonna tell me all about your hopes and your dreams why is this so important to you because I don't want any secrets between us you know the most important thing in a relationship is total honesty so talk to me. Tell me what you want most in the world. Okay. Okay, I've never told anyone this before. It's okay, you can trust me. Okay. Okay, uh, the thing that I want more than anything else in the entire world is to be taken seriously by my family. I want to be thought of as a legitimate, viable heir to the Crane Empire. Well, you already are. Yeah, I, technically, I am. Ever since it was found out that Ethan isn't a Crane, I became next in line after my father, but... Teresa, for as long as I can remember, nobody, nobody, including my grandfather, ever considered me an heir. It was always Ethan, the golden boy, the family groomed him for the role. They ignored me. He was the heir and I was the spare. But everything's changed, right? Right? I mean, Ethan's not a, a crane anymore. So you're going to have a chance at your dream. And one day you will head the crane empire. Yeah, I want some recognition now, you know? I, I want my father and my grandfather to acknowledge my existence. I want them to approve of me. Oh. They're never gonna approve. Thanks for the vote of confidence. No, 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 no. <laughs> that's, that's not what I mean. I mean, I'm talking about us, me, you know? Well, you can't have your dream as long as you're with me. You can't be alive! I am, you bitch! No! I know everything, Beth. I know everything! No! I know that you kidnapped Sheridan and you stole her baby. And you're trying to pass it off as your own. The truth is gonna come out. Beth, I'm gonna tell everyone. I'm gonna tell everyone everything. I'm gonna take you down. No! There's nothing you can do. There's nothing you can do, because I'm gonna get you! You can never do anything to me, Gwen, because you're dead. You're never gonna get me. I've lost Sam. I was too late, he's with, he's with Ivy now. 
Grace. Oh, David. What's wrong? <sighs> you're so upset when you left. I want to see if you're okay, and obviously you are not. I made such a terrible mess of things. Oh, sorry. Come on, come on. Let's get you out of here. No, don't answer it. It could be headquarters. Ignore it. Mm -hmm. Okay, anyway. Might be an emergency. Sam Bennett. Right. I'm on my way. I have to go. What? Shots have been fired in the psychiatric ward at the hospital. Can't one of your officers handle that? Well, that's the problem. The person who fired the shots is one of my officers. It's Luis. Oh, no. Oh, I knew earlier when he was talking about getting Sheridan out of the hospital, he might try something, but I never thought this. I, I hope no one was hurt. Me too. Sheridan! I'm here. Luis, I'm shh, here. No, 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 shh, 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 shh. No, if he comes in here and sees what we're doing, I'm a dead man. If he doesn't kill me, I must do well. Damn it, Antonio. I said, get out of here, Luis. Get out of my way! Stop! No! feelings locked away because I want to be a good husband to Gwen. I want to make children. I want to be a devoted father. Gwen's a wonderful woman. She deserves that. And I love her. The problem is... thought I could love two women at the same time, you know? But I do. By so much, I want to be a good husband to Glenn. And what I feel for Teresa is just so strong. I'm having trouble letting it go. How could anyone love someone as much as I'd love Teresa and just... You can't be with me. Your family despises me. You know, especially Alistair. To him, I'll always be the housekeeper's daughter, the product of lowly immigrants, an Irish father and a Latina mother. There's no way he or Julian would ever risk letting me anywhere near the Crane Empire. So if you and I were to get together, well, they would find a way to deny you your birthright. They would prevent you from inheriting what's rightfully yours. What are you saying? You're saying what? I'm saying that we can't be serious. That we can't even try to have a relationship, that it's over before we can start. Hey! No check and raise, remember? It was your rules. I agreed. You get another inside straight. Oh. Yeah. Throw to her police siren. No. <gasps> Nothing. <gasps> Boy, that's a good sign. <laughs> Beth, I don't know where she went to. But boy, she went out of here in a hurry, and that is not a good sign far from it, because she is up to something. <gasps> 
And I just bet, I just bet it has something to do with Gwyn Winthrop. <laughs> oh, you bet on a Tuesday, you precious. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> ah, speak of the devil, and boy, the devil looks nervous. <laughs> What's going on here, Bethy? What did you do now? Don't worry about it. Oh, every time you say that, I worry even more. I know that look on your face. Oh, you have gotten yourself into some trouble again, haven't you? No, Mother, actually. Got myself out of trouble, or potential trouble. Oh, let me guess. Huh? We bet it has something to do with Gwen, because the minute you found out she was out of the hospital, you raced out of here. Why? Where did you go? Why do you have that evil smile on your face? I feel like smiling. Well, I don't know why, because Gwen is on to you, and she's going to track down Dr. Culver and find out that you were never pregnant. No, she won't. Oh, yeah, she's going to realize that this baby you've been passing off as your own is really Sheridan's in, and you, Missy, Benito! No, mm -hmm. Mother. Mm -hmm. Actually, Gwen is Benito. <laughs> No. <laughs> no, what did you do to poor Gwen? Well, let's just say that Mrs. Winthrop won't be causing me any more problems. <laughs> oh, no, no, no angels in heaven. You didn't. You couldn't. Could and did. You know how they say curiosity killed the cat? Well, Gwen got just a little too curious for her own good. <gasps> oh, you killed her? You killed poor Gwen. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> back to my room and I'll brew us a pot of tea. Hmm? No. I I'm going to talk to Ivy. Sam will come back. And we'll pick up right where we left off. You tramp. You stay away from Sam. Do you hear me? You just stay away from him! So... You and I can't be together, then. No, it's impossible. And it's over before we can start. Whoa, hold, wait, hold on it's just a second. I mean, don't you think you're getting a little bit ahead of yourself here? How do you really know what's going to happen, anyway? I just, um... I know what it's like to have a dream. And I know how much it hurts to lose it. So I am not going to risk you giving up your dream just to be with me. That's very kind of you, and I appreciate your concern, Teresa. Your family, Teresa. they will never allow it. Teresa, listen, it's going to be years before I stand a chance to inherit the Crane Empire. Decades, probably. Hey, I, look, Alistair's nowhere near ready to die. My old man's in his prime. I know, I, I'm, I'm just saying that. No, I, 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 know, I know what you're saying. I know exactly what you're saying, but you know what? It's pointless to speculate about any of that right now. Now... I was kind of hoping that maybe we could start our relationship off with as little stress and as little pressure as possible. Okay? Mm -hmm. So, I don't know. What do you say um, we take it one day at a time, okay, and we see how it all pans out, and if our relationship continues to grow and we think we were meant to be together, then, hey, you'll have all the time in the world to win my family over, and you know what? I'm sure that you will. I'm positive of it. No, I'm not. Well, I am. I am, okay? So just don't worry about it, okay? Okay. Let it go, and um, let's not start our relationship off with a dark cloud hanging over our heads, okay? Okay, you're right, no dark clouds. Just one day at a time. One day at a time, good. <laughs> now that that's out of the way. Okay. It's your turn. For what? Well, I don't know. I'm, I told you what my dream was, so um, why don't you tell me yours? I know what it used to be. It used to be that you'd hook up with my half-brother, but, uh... Tell me, come on, what do you dream about? Maybe some people can turn their feelings on and off. 
pretend they're not there. I can't do that. I love Teresa so deeply. I know those feelings are still in there. I can just only hope in time that they'll fade. But my feelings for you, Louisa, they'll never fade. Obviously Look, not. I don't want to wake the boy, okay? I cannot believe what I just heard. What, that you still have feelings for Teresa? What, the woman who murdered your baby? Wait, oh, Rebecca, Teresa is not responsible for Sarah's death. I am, okay? Oh, please. Look, I don't want to get into this with you right now. You had no business listening in on what I was saying. Yeah, well, thank goodness I did. Because now that I know where Gwen stands, I can protect her. From me? No, you'll never have to do that. I made a mistake. It'll never happen again. I love Gwen. And I want nothing more than to have a long and happy life with her. Look, Ethan, we both know that if Gwen were out of the picture, you would be with Teresa. Good. At least you're not two-faced enough to try to deny it. Where are you going? I'm going to check on my wife. Gwen should have been back by now. <sighs> Gwen. Gwen, you have got to get pregnant immediately. <sighs> if you don't, you are going to lose Ethan to Teresa. How could you? <gasps> Actually, it was pretty easy. Oh, to do something so evil. I mean, poor, poor Gwen, she's so young. <laughs> you are like the serial killer on Days of Our Lives, killing people right and left. Except you didn't kill Sheridan. All right, put a sock in it. Do you really think I'm gonna let Gwen expose me and everything I've done? You know, I've worked way too hard to throw it all away now. I want to spend the rest of my life with Luis, not rotting away in some 8 by 10 prison cell. God knows that's exactly what you deserve. Look, I had to kill Gwen. There was no other option. Or she didn't deserve to die. All right, could you look on the bright side for once in your life? Thanks to me, Gwen has been reunited with her dead daughter. <gasps> I did her a favor. Oh, my God, you are truly evil. Whatever. At least I can breathe easy now. Oh, when the police find out what you did, you will be breathing at all, Missy. The police? Uh -huh. Well, you know what? That's never going to happen, because no one saw me go into the crane garage. Oh. No one saw me leave. So there's not a shred of evidence that I was ever there. Except for the oil stain on your shirt, Missy. <laughs> That's a shred of evidence, and then some, huh? <laughs> Police are gonna see that oil stain and then connect it to the crane garage. That's gonna be your direct link to Gwen's murder. Oh, no. oh yes, Missy. Oh yes, you are going down. You are going all the way down to hell. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> Stop! Hold it right there! Come on, break it up! Hand over the gun! The woman's life's in danger in there. Your gun! You have no jurisdiction here. Listen, if I don't get in there, Sheridan will die. He's lying. Look, I don't want him anywhere near my wife. This isn't about you and me, Antonio. She's getting the help she needs, Luis. Stop this, both of you! Everybody calm down. I'm not leaving here until I know she's safe. Where do you think you're going? What have they done to you? Louise. It's okay. I'm here now, all right? No one's ever gonna hurt you again. Here. Thank God. You're not gonna tell me what your dream is? 
You already know what it is. I want little Ethan back. And his son means more to me than anything in this world. I'm gonna do whatever it takes. I mean, I'll stop at nothing to get little Ethan back where he belongs. I won't give up. Hey, you're gonna have your dream, okay? You're gonna be with little Ethan again. Well, it has to happen. It will happen. You'll have your dream, okay? Your son. And I'll have mine, the Korean Empire. We'll do it together. Side by side, we'll fight for what we want, okay? <laughs> and we'll win. I always win. Okay. Look at me. I promise you, I'm gonna make sure you get your boy back, okay? Okay. And I'm gonna do whatever it takes to help you get your dream, too. Fourteen. Fifteen. Hethi, you have done a lot of evil things, but this time, Missy, this time you've really botched it! Do I look worried? Oh, if you're not, as I've said before, you're a fool! Look, I'll get rid of the shirt, okay? Oh. Damn it, I love this shirt. Oh. Besides, Gwen's death is gonna look like an accident, okay? Some old, unsteady shelf giving way. As if the police are gonna believe that. Why wouldn't they? Things happen like that all the time. A shelf fell on Gwen's head. Case closed. When you are in the electric chair, Missy, that's when the case will be closed. Hmm. Won't have to worry about good old Gwenny ever again. Or Sheridan, for that matter. Alistair has seen to it that she is totally out of my way. And he's gonna make sure that Luis and Sheridan stay apart for good. So there's nothing to stand in my way, nothing to keep me, Luis, and the baby from being together. I've gotten away with all of it, Mother. Luis is mine. <laughs> He's all mine. <laughs> I'm getting you out of here, okay? Yes, just take me out. Don't you worry, no one's ever gonna hurt you again. No one. No one. Please. 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 No, you can't let Luis hear you, so this will keep you quiet. Open the door! No! Put the gun down, Luis. So, give me the gun. Now! That's an order. Stay away from him. Well, I have to admit I'm a bit surprised, Grace, if not impressed. You're coming here to tell me what to do? Well, that takes a lot of chutzpah. Just stay away. It's none of your business if I'm with Sam or not. And believe me, I intend to be with Sam. You're no good for him. Well, I think that that's for Sam to decide. And I think maybe He's made that decision. But then so have you, Grace. You've made your decision. You are with David. You are with your husband. So my being with Sam is of no concern to you. You walked out on Sam. You walked out on your family. It wasn't the other way around, was it? Was it? No. Oh. What did you think was going to happen, Grace? Did you think that Sam was going to waste away pining for you? Well, I can see by your face you thought he was. Well, I am sorry to disappoint you, Grace. But Sam is moving on with his life. With you. I think you realize that the love we shared is still there. It's always been there. Although I have to thank you, Grace. Your leaving Sam sent him right into my waiting arms. 
Although I think he would have ended up there eventually anyway. Our love is way too strong to be denied. But you did help things along. I'll give you that. Oh my God. What have I done? Oh, Sam, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I ruined everything. Don't let her change her mind. Put a stop to it. Grace still loves Sam. Oh, I'm working on it. I just told her about photo signs in Italy. The little distance between <laughs> Sam and... Okay, great, whatever. Just do it. The quicker, the better. I haven't come this far to lose Sam now. Teresa, you're incredible. We're gonna be even more incredible together. Son of a... It's Ethan. What the hell's going on? What are you doing here, Ethan? Look, I just, I'm going to... He uh, was stalking us. No, he was spying on us, right? So you can tell Rebecca that I'm an unfit mother because I was kissing Teresa, your half-brother? I'm sorry. I'm just looking for Gwen, okay? She, she went to go get something out of her car. She never came back. Well, well, I don't know much, but I'll tell you this, man. She sure as hell didn't park inside the cottage. You know what I mean? A logical place to look would, would be the garage. I went by there. The lights are out. I'm starting to get a little worried here. Maybe she went for a walk. She left in her nightgown. She didn't even take her coat. OK, well, that doesn't sound right. Look, I'm going to help him look for, for Gwen. Yeah, I'll be right back. You know what? I'll, I'll come with you. I'm just going to get the coats, OK? You want to tell me what the hell you think you're doing? Firing a gun in here? Sam, I had no choice. Now Sheridan's in danger here. You, hey, you let me in there. You let me see Sheridan. Come here. You're still, thank God. The police are here. I, I want you to arrest this man. Now, I realize he's one of your own, but he has gone berserk, shooting his guns, breaking down doors. This is a hospital. All I want to do is see Sheridan. Why don't you let me see her? Because I'm her husband, not you. And for another thing, you've already been banned from this hospital. He's already taken this patient out of the hospital without my permission once, and I cannot allow that to happen again. All I want to do is see Sheridan. And what the hell is wrong with that? because it would be completely disruptive to her treatment. Her treatment? I don't even know what the hell her treatment is. And last time I saw Sharon, she looked like hell. I'm telling you, Sam, something is off here. No, 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 no. You are what is off here. Please, please. Hey, please, come on. Please. I'm telling you, it you is essential. Here. It is essential that we do not have one of your officers running amok in this hospital and threatening my patients. I demand that you place this man under arrest. Lock him up. You can't do that, Sam. I'm telling you, Sheridan is in danger. She needs my help. Oh, Sam. How could I have made such a terrible mistake? <sighs> Pack her up, then get her out of harmony as soon as possible. Take her to Europe. Take her on your photo assignment. Take her to Timbuktu. I don't care. Just get her far away from Sam. You really think after all that's happened that Sam will take her back? Choose her over you. I'm not going to take that chance. And I don't want Sam to have that option. Just get her far away from Sam. <laughs> Right about the lights being off? Yeah, why would it be in here and not in the dark? So... Well, look, we're, we're here, so let's, let's take a look around. Let me get the lights. All right. Oh, God. You guys, quick. What? It's Gwen. Quick. Oh, my God. Gwen! Okay, Fox. She's not moving. She's, she's not moving. <laughs> I can't get a pulse. She's not breathing. Oh, my God. Gwen's dead. Honey. She's honey. dead. Yep. Alistair has really come through for me this time. He's made sure that Sheridan is locked up tight in the loony bin. Louise isn't even allowed to see her. <laughs> oh, oh, this is too cruel. How could a father do this to his own daughter? It's just too horrible. What kind of a father does this to his own child? How would I know, Mother, since I never knew my father? You had uncles. Oh, yeah, I had a whole slew of uncles. Coming in and out of the house like a revolving door around here. In and out. 
So no, I'm not sure how it is with fathers and daughters. But I am sure that Alistair does not want Sheridan with Louise, and he will stop at nothing to keep them apart. You don't mean... Oh, yeah. yeah. Alistair would rather see his daughter dead than with Louise, which it works out well for yours truly. Her own father. Oh. Look, I don't care. Who kills Sheridan? Just as long as she stays out of my way. Please. Are you... Please come back and save me. Please, I need you. You have to believe me, Sam. Look, I'm telling you that Sheridan's life is in danger. My wife is not in danger. She's only undergoing therapy, a treatment prescribed by her doctor. Sam, I'm telling you. And I'm telling you that all Louisa's doing is butting in, trying to take advantage of Sheridan's weakened state, trying to make her think that she's in love with him. Well, she is in love with me, but that's beside the point. The point is that you broke into a secured area and you're shooting your gun off. Now, come on. He could hurt somebody or even worse. All he's trying to do is sabotage Sheridan's therapy. Sam, Sheridan. I'm her husband. I want him out of here now. Her life is in danger here, okay? Now, you gotta believe me, she needs my help. Look, I'm sorry, Luis, but you leave me no choice. What? You're under arrest. I'm taking you in. Nobody is going to see her, especially Luis. Not now, not ever. I don't want you or your slut niece around me ever again. Whitney, I love you. Just give me a little chance. Julian and Eve will beg dearly, and Chad and Whitney's union will be the price. With only six new episodes of Friends to Go, this Thursday brings an unforgettable Friends event. Happy wedding day! Phoebe gets married. You look beautiful. Thank you. Hope you are a magical are wedding friendship. night as only friends can give us. Friends, family, the cold has now spread to my special place. <laughs> the must-see wedding on Friends, NBC Thursday.